the prize guilty plea today in a fiery religious dispute. Shaul Spitzer admitted to setting fire to one of his Hasidic neighbors' homes in Rockland County, all because the victim did not pray at the right synagogue. News 12's Rick Harris has more. Shaul Spitzer will not stand trial for his attack on Aaron Rottenberg last spring. The 18-year-old pled guilty Tuesday to first-degree assault rather than face attempted murder charges. He did not intend to kill Mr. Rottenberg. He did not intend to burn down his house, but he did commit an act that he pled guilty to, an act that caused a serious physical injury to Mr. Rottenberg. The assault stems from a dispute within the Hasidic community of New Square, where Rottenberg refused to worship at the village's main synagogue. Rottenberg was harassed for months, and in May, Spitzer tossed a firebomb onto Rottenberg's porch. Rottenberg confronted Spitzer, and that's when another bomb detonated, severely burning Rottenberg. Facing 25 years in jail if convicted, Spitzer is now expected to receive 5 to 10 years when he's sentenced in April. He never denied his uh, involvement in this incident. He never denied his, uh, his part in this, what took place. And he's remorseful every day of his life for what he had done. The 44-year-old Rottenberg told the judge he approves of the plea deal. Also, a settlement has been reached in Rottenberg's civil suit against Spitzer and the village's grand rabbi, David Tversky, who Rottenberg said was behind the attack. Tversky has denied involvement, and Spitzer's attorneys say their client acted alone. What he did was for no other motive than really religious zealotry, which had very ter terrible consequences for himself and a, a very terrible consequences for Mr. Rottenberg. Consequences that inflamed the community and will send Shaw Spitzer to prison. In New City, Rick Harris, News 12. Well, as part of that plea deal, we are told the civil suit was settled for over $2 million. Shaw Spitzer will be sentenced for the crime in April.